Hi everybody, one of the coolest things that you can do in Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, and this is on the Xbox Series S you're seeing here, are community events or community fly-ins or just generally when you get together with other people on a server and fly together on a flight path or just, just fly around. Um, it really does add an extra level of immersion and fun to the game. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can find some community events and then the settings you'll need to have in place to join those community events. So one of the best, well probably the best place to go is the Flight Simulator Forum and I'll put links to all these places in the description below the video and you can sign in and sign up if you like and they have a um, set of, uh, they, they, they have a channel um, where people put in uh, their own events and they also the uh, the official guys put in the official fly-in events so for example uh, here we have at the top on the 20th of the 8th so a couple of days time from when I'm recording this video this might be gone past but I'd get get it on at 8 o'clock my time um, there's gonna be a community fly event flight to a Sobo studio and so you go in and uh, they give you a description of when it will be um, and then what's really important as you come down is the flight plan so where it's going to go and then you the recommended aircraft where they start and the multiplayer setting so kind of bear in mind this for for in, for in a bit when I show you how to do this so the, what they're saying is the server is North Europe so we need to make sure that when we go into flight simulator we select that all players you need to set that Multiplayer, live traffic as preferred, weather a few clouds, time of day, daytime. Um, and then what they're also saying is turn off aircraft collision and terrain collision um, to do that. So that, that's the really important things there. That's how we, how we set it up. And then the other really important thing is the time. Um, now, I think they use a plugin where when you go to the server, it will show you your local time. Um, so for me, it says August the 20th at 8 o'clock in the evening, uh, GMT plus one. Um, I th and I think that that plugin will make sure that you see your local stuff and it tells you how long it will be. And what you do basically, you, you'll fire up Microsoft Flight Simulator, you go into the, the settings which I'll show you, um, and then what you can do is you can go into the, the world map and create a flight plan if you want to. So they're saying start, off LFM, start at LFMK Airport, then go to LFBO, LFBA, LFDR, and LFBD, um, and then you can follow that flight plan. However, with these larger events, like the official ones, there's normally enough aircraft where you can just just, just tag along and you can see stuff. So there's the official uh, forum you can go to. Um, another cool place is the, the official Discord. And what they do in the official Discord, if you go to the community fly-ins uh, channel, um, you'll find links to the um, their other site, their um, their forum here as well. So if you miss something, you can go through and you can you can click on it. And then one of the other places you can go as well is if you go to uh, Twitter and go to the official Microsoft Flight Simulator account and follow that, they will um, tweet out when they're going to be doing a uh, an official fly in, and they share some of the other ones as well. And so with with uh, kind of those three resources, you should be able to meet up with people. Um, and enjoy the community flying experience in Microsoft Flight Simulator because I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. Right, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you the settings you need to put into Flight Simulator um, so that you'll be able to join one of these events. Okay, so here we are in Flight Simulator. So the first thing we want to do to join um, a, uh, a community flying is to go to our account and look at the server. So as you can see here, I'm set up to go on North Europe. Um, so let's have a look. So, so at this flight to a Sobo Studio event, the server would be North Europe. So that, so that's good. So now we go into the world map, and the bit that people often miss is you've got to go into here, flight conditions. This doesn't isn't about the weather. This is about other stuff as well. So here we go. So here we have the other bit. So they said multiplayer should be set to all players. So we click that. They're saying live traffic as preferred. So this is what other airplanes are flying around. Whether they're saying do a few clouds. So you could, um, yeah, so you can set this how you want. And they're saying daytime. Remember though that in Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, when you're flying as a group, as long as you're on the same server, you can all have different settings in terms of the weather 
um, and the time of day. So some people could be flying, it could be the middle of the night in a storm, say they're very advanced flyers, and other people could be having clear skies on a nice day because maybe you know they're, they're, they're more beginner flyers, and that's the beauty of it. But you're still flying together and you can still, you can still see each other. So once, once we've got that set up, we can come out of that. So now what we need to do is we need to put in our flight plan. Now we know they're going to start at LFMK. So what you want to do is you want to go to search and we do LFMK. Search for that. I search the airport. So we want to click on that. There it is. So that's where we want to start. So we can click on that and we say set as departure. Now, if we wanted to, we could just, if it was the right time, so in this case with this uh, official community flying, we could just, um, if it's the right time, we just say fly and we would go into the map and we'd be sitting on the airfield ready ready to go. However, let's say we wanted to do their whole flight plan where they end up at LF, uh, B, LFBB. I'm telling you what, let's um, change it to daytime as well. Um, let's have a look. So, what you've just got to do is. Although this flight plan has got one, two, three, four, five kind of points to it, you always do the first and last um, to start with. So we do the first one, and then we do the last one. So now we go to search, and we know it's finishing at LFBD Airport. So we go LFBD, and we search for that. We select that, and then... Now, when you're selecting, so we set that as our uh, arrival, and there we go. Here we've got our basic flight plan. Now, when you when you're at airports um, and you've got the option, you'll you'll see you've got the option of selecting normally in the middle the airport, and then you can also select the uh, particular runways. Um, if you just select the airport, what happens is the game will choose um, which runway to bring you in depending on the weather. You know which way the wind's going. So once we've got our start and end, now we can put in the middle one. So they're saying they want to do a touch and go at LFBO. So now we search for LFBO. So we click on that one. And this is going to be a touch and go. Um, which means you just kind of put your wheels down, land, and then but keep but keep flight, keep going along the runway, and then take off again. And so what we do is we, we with this one we say add, and that puts it. If we zoom out, you'll see that's added it in the middle. And then we've got LFBA, LFBA. And again, we just click on it and we click add. There you go. This is quite a flight, a straight flight plan, but you can see kind of it's got a few wiggles in it. And then the last touch and goes LFDR. And we find that. And again, we click on it and we click add there you go so if we kind of zoom out you can see that's the whole pl flight plan for this community event and i guess the final thing is you can look at the aircraft so they recommend the diamond da 40 ng the cirrus sr 22 the extra 330 or similar um but you know you can f you can fly whatever you like <laughs> yeah. especially on these big com big community events people do fly whatever they like um i would always say you know don't go for this don't go for a really slow aircraft though I think you're better off having something that's that's a little bit faster, one that I recommend so you can kind of circle around and, and you can have, have, have some good fun. Right, so there we go. So that, my friends, is how you can find uh, community events. You can fly together in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And then you can go off and you can... Uh, and that's how you actually set it up in the game as well. And then you would obviously hit fly and, you, and you'd be off. There we go. Hope you find that useful. If you have, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Um, if got any questions or comments put them down below and i will see you again soon